Hi everybody, this is Lars from CatCamStuff.com. One of my ultimate favorite mating tricks is the Alt Plus Drag. Uh, I actually didn't know about this trick until I started teaching essentials at Cat Dimensions. Uh, here I have this assembly and I got this rod that I would like to mate into this cylindrical face here. And all I have to do is hold down the Alt key on my keyboard, hold down the the left mouse key like you normally would if you drag and as soon as I start dragging this rod around you will see that a little paper clip shows up on mating icon in SOLIDWORKS right and as I coming over the cylindrical face you will see how this little icon shows up here that shows a concentric mate is being registered by SOLIDWORKS I let go and this little menu pops up here where I already picked the concentric mate uh, as the selection I hit the green check mark and look at this there's a mate right here now I can go and zoom in a little bit so we can better see what we're doing here and I can do the same thing with this little face if I want to make this little face here and make that uh, coincident to, to this face here. Hold down the Alt key, go over, hold down the left mouse key and as soon as I drag it in you see that it kind of tries to snap in and here this icon shows that it's a coincident mate. I let go and the little ones show up here, coincident is always to pick and I can hit the green check mark and now this one here is coincident. I think that's a pretty neat trick that actually if you want to you can go to the way where you have you know two floating blocks out in space and without actually have to open up the mate menu you can actually by holding down the alt key pick a face you can actually go down here and you can make those two coincident you can go over here you can click on this face hold down the alt key drag over and now we can make these coincident and this way here you can actually make things just tie them down I think that's a pretty pretty neat mating trick in SOLIDWORKS